Hello and welcome. This video explains the concept of catalog profile in SAP PM. One of the best ways of defining a good catalog profile is to use ISO 14224 standard. This standard helps in making our data recording and querying easy, clean, accurate and repeatable. I have illustrated the process of creating a catalog profile in a separate video series. In this particular video, I address catalog profile from a business perspective. Suppose we have a pump breakdown in the plant. How do we create a useful record of this occurrence? Our best option is to use an ISO based catalog profile in creating our notification. This process is illustrated in the next few screens. We are going to run transaction code IW21 to create a notification that is creating PM notification. And we are going to select an M2 notification type. So that is malfunction report. We run that and there goes our notification. For the purpose of this illustration, I'm not going to populate any of these fields here. I'm interested in the section, in this particular section. We have object part, we have damage, and we have cost code. I have already created and assigned an ISO based catalog profile to this section here. So for object part, this is what we have in our ISO based catalog profile. I'm going to select support. So we have pump and uh, these are parts within that pump. And in my case, I'm going to select support. So once that is selected, we can move on to damage. And then again, this is an ISO based catalog profile. And one of the cool features that we have here is that we have folders. You can close or open them as you need. And we have our main code groups, which are electrical failure, external influence, instrument failure, material failure, mechanical and miscellaneous. We can open each of these folders to reveal the codes that are contained in them. So that's what we have in electrical. That's what we have in external influence. Instrument failure. This is what we have in material failure. This is what we have in mechanical failure. And finally, our list of uh, miscellaneous, fa miscellaneous failures. So in our case, we are going to select material failure and it's going to be corrosion. So our damage field is populated now and we can enter free text as required here. So we move on to course code. Again, that is very similar to what we had in damage. We have about five courses, design, fabrication, uh, stroke installation, management related failures, miscellaneous and maintenance or operation related courses. And again, each of these folders we have codes, about three in uh, each of them here. And you can add to this list depending on your application and uh, the codes that you would like to capture. So in our case, we are going to select design related courses. And this is going to be improper material. <coughs> 
So all our fields have now been populated. We have object part, it's support, damage is corrosion, and cost code is improper material. So one thing that I would like to mention here is that from an execution perspective, we have been able to access a catalog profile that gives us only the relevant code groups in a drop-down menu. What this does is that it eliminates confusion, it improves accuracy and significantly reduces data entry time. From a reporting and data analysis perspective, accurate data makes it easy to identify trends, it speeds up data querying process, and it also improves accuracy of various reports. So that was a brief illustration of how we can structure our catalog profile to deliver value to our execution and data analysis teams. One of the biggest benefits of this structure is that we are able to gather accurate and reliable data that positively impact our asset management decisions and overall business process.